Hey everyone, I'm King. Welcome back to King Spade channel. So the home system is finally available in the SCA server. I had made an introduction video about the home system when it is first implemented in the Taiwan server. And back then, there are still a lot of bugs regarding the home system, especially related to the home level upgrading error. Players can't upgrade their home level further because some of the home quests were not marked with completed although it is already been done now that we finally have this feature let's explore it more there has been some addition to the home system as well that was not covered in the previous video so first off there will be a new quest to unlock the home feature when you log into the game after the update maintenance is over the quest is auto navigated nothing hard you can complete it in just few minutes Talk to Ronald, the home NPC near the central fountain in Prontera to enter your home. The NPC will also give you this paper crane item as a teleportation device. When used, you will be teleported straight away into your home, regardless where you are in the game. So with this item, you don't need to go back to Prontera and talk to the NPC Ronald to get into your home. You can use this item anywhere in the game. The best Best thing is, this is a permanent item. It is not gone when used, so you can put this item at a quick use item slot, so you can easily find it when you want to get into your home. So inside the home, you will first be introduced to the fishing NPC. The fishing NPC actually has nothing to do with your fishing progress in the home system. You want to talk to him only when you want to upgrade your fishing pawn level. Why you want to upgrade the fishing pawn level. The higher the fishing pawn level, the larger the capacity it has to grow more fish. So what this fish pawn can do? You can get fish similar to the life skill fishing material. But before you get the fish, first you need to grow them in the pawn. When doing it for the first time, the fishing NPC will give you the fingerlings. The fingerlings is to be released in the pawn. The next time you want to grow a new batch of fish, you can buy the fingerlings at the NPC Ronald. They are essentially still just a baby. So you need to wait for 53 hours and 20 minutes or basically over 2 days for them to grow before you can harvest them. But you can speed up the growing process by giving them the growth bait item. Which also you can get it at the NPC Ronald. The growth bait can speed up the fish growing process by 60% in 1 hour. So what does this mean? I am not not particularly sure about this but my guess is that in one hour the growing process is reduced from 53 hours to basically 60% less it becomes 21 hours you can only use one growth bait item at one time so after an hour you can then use it again and this time the growing process will again reduce by 60% in one hour so from 21 hours to 8 hours you can repeat the process to lower down the growing time even more. As your pawn level increases, you will unlock the pet dispatch function. Pet will help you to do some of the needed work for your fish. The dispatch pet will help you to feed the fish automatically when the growth bait has finished. This will greatly help you with monitoring the timer. You don't have to keep track of your time to feed the fish. The pet will do it for you automatically. This way, the fish growing duration will also also be timely managed and reduced significantly. Now you don't have to wait until the time reach zero to harvest the fish. You can start collecting the fish when the growing process reach about 30% progress, the minimum collectible growth, or in my calculation about 16 hours. But collecting it early can give you low amount of fish. Each batch of fish as it said in the description can yield a minimum 10 to maximum 25 fish. As your pawn level increases increases, you can unlock higher life skill level fish or fingerlings so you can grow and get higher level life skill fish. Next, the farmland where you can grow the life skill flower material. Just like
like fishing at a pond, you first need to sow the flower seeds. You can get the seeds at the NPC Ronald. After sowing the seed, you then need to wait for one hour, not to collect it, but to water it. There is one extra step in farmland. You need to water the seed before it enters the growing process. The growing process do not take a long time for flowers. You can collect the flowers after three hours. Each time you harvest the flowers, the farmland fertility point will drop. The fertility of the farmland will affect the amount of the flowers harvest. A minimum of 15 crops to maximum of 30 crops for each seed. When harvesting flowers, it will need at least two points of fertility point for each crop plot. You will not get bonus crop if you do not have enough fertility point. To increase the fertility of the farmland, you need the fertilizer item which can be bought at the NPC Rono. One fertilizer can restore 50 points of fertility point. As you upgrade the farmland level, you can unlock the pet dispatch function for the farmland. For farmland, the pet will help you water the crops automatically, so you don't need to carefully time yourself to water the crops. The pet will do it for you and all you need to do is just wait for the time to finish to collect the flowers next the mining this is much more simple but can be a little rng so what do i mean by that to get the mining materials first you need to find the mining veins to do that you need the exploration flame item this can be bought at the npc ronald as well when this item is used it will randomly give you a mining vein. There are different veins. There are normal vein, raw vein, metalliferous vein, and gemstone vein. Depending on the type of the vein, you will get different materials. Once you have decided on which vein you want to do mining, hit the confirm button. After that, you need to dispatch the mine card to start mining. Waiting time to collect the mining materials is 4 hours and 40 minutes. Now, which vein to mine materials is quite important after the latest home update. With the latest home version, the home features is now open with the house function. This function is unlocked after your home level reach level 2. You have a space to decorate with furniture, just like a typical home sim game. And the furniture needs some materials to be crafted. The materials can be obtained from the specific vein in the mining site. The house decoration and furniture craft thing for now is purely just a creative and fun activity in the game. It does not have stats that can give you extra attribute to your character. Well, I'm not sure if the game will add stats to the furniture like some other similar games in the future. But which one do you prefer? Furniture with stats or furniture without stats? Let me know in the comment below. And that is all about the whole feature in ROX. One thing I haven't mentioned is that that when releasing fingerlings for fishing, sowing the seed for gardening and sending the mine card for farming, we'll use stamina. From the previous video, a lot of you were asking if the home stamina and the character stamina is separated or not. And the home stamina share the same stamina as to the character stamina. The home stamina uses the character stamina when doing the home activity. So overall, do you like the home feature? Again, let me know at the comment below this time video shout out goes to thank you for always supporting me and this channel if you like this video give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and also don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you will be notified whenever i upload a new video thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next video and as always happy playing bye bye